What up, fam? Mr. Country CEO, man. Look, happy Sunday morning to you. I just wanted to come on here this Sunday and give you some words of inspiration. After all, Sundays are certainly a day that the word goes forth in various places, right? So I just want to talk today, um, this morning, uh, as a passage of Scripture in Proverbs 27, verse 17, that says that as iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. And I thought about the fact that uh, my whole goal at this channel was to encourage folks to to share with them uh, my knowledge about the dump truck business and being an entrepreneur. And I pray and thank God for all of you who feel that I have been a blessing to you. And it's just nothing but great things to come uh, if it's left up to me. I hope the Lord says yes. But I thought about this passage when I thought about you guys this morning. I want to encourage you with just a few thoughts and I won't hold you long. As iron sharpens iron, we know that uh, if you've ever lived out in the country, uh, there's a such thing as a file. And whether your, your, your knife, your bra knife, we call it in the country, or your uh, regular knives, kitchen knives, or just any kind of object that needed sharpening would get dull, it would take some kind of iron to sharpen it, right? We know that uh, some people would take a grind, a grinder and sharpen their knives. Some people would take a file and sharpen it or a knife sharpener, that kind of thing. What does it do? It sharpens the object and, and to the point to where it can cut uh, again, right? And cut like it should cut, right? Don't miss that. That's a point right there. The, the, the iron sharpens the other piece. Uh, 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 so that it may be able to function like it was meant to function. Well, brothers and sisters, in like manner, when we put ourselves in the room, in the presence, and, and, and under the direction and submission of other folks who got something that they can offer to us, we allow ourselves to be sharpened so we can function like we need to function, right? Maybe our, our senses may be dull, our bit skills may be dull, something may be dull in, in us, right? But when we put ourselves in the room and position to uh, be up under the leadership and tutelage and mentoring and coaching of somebody that has the knowledge that we desire, then what that does is prepare us to function uh, to the best of our abilities and help to reach us, uh, help us to reach the peak for which we're able to accomplish or the potential that God has placed in us. So I want to ask you a question this morning. Who is sharpening you? Uh-oh. Who is sharpening you? Who are you listening to? Who are you surrounding yourself with? Who are you taking advice uh, from? Are they sharpening you and preparing you to be able to reach your destiny and your purpose in life? Right? Watch this. Here's a nugget. Here's a nugget. I've discovered, brothers and sisters, that people are either taking from you or they're pouring into you. Don't miss that. They're either pouring into you or they're taking from you. I put it the other way around that point. So I want you to just think about that on this Sunday. Who are you surrounding with? Are they sharpening you? And watch this. It says, as iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. As you're being sharpened by somebody else, guess what? You're also sharpening them. I'm a living witness to that because as I pour out into you guys, uh, as I did yesterday on that live, guess what? You are also sharpening me. Don't make no mistake about it. Country CEO, Reverend Perry, Dr. Perry Jones doesn't know everything. So you enlighten me. I hope that you see how I light up when you ask certain questions because some of those things are revelations and the power of the Holy Spirit in those moments be giving me what to say to you guys, right? Oh, don't miss that, right? So this is a two-way street as iron sharpens iron. One purpose person sharpens another. Although I'm giving you knowledge in the business, you're giving me knowledge in other areas that helps me to understand how people think, how they process, how they go along about the business uh, of their lives and things of that nature. So we are sharpening each other. Again, I ask you, who's sharpening you? Whose presence are you in? Whose club are you in? Whose uh uh, company are you keeping right are they adding to you are they sharpening you if they're not you need to get some people i ain't gonna tell you to leave them <laughs> that's a whole other video but what i am gonna say you need to examine that and get around some people who can help sharpen you in the areas of your life not just business but any of the areas of your life where you feel like you need to grow and you need to advance and you need to mature get around people who can sharpen you why so you can function at a high level a knife gets sharpened, it can then fulfill its total purpose, which is to do what? To cut. But if it's gotten dull, it can't cut. And if it's got a file that's dull, the file can't help it to get sharp. 
talk, boy. And that may be what some of our problem is. We're around dull people that can't sharpen us because they're they're dull. So I hope this helps somebody. Look, I ain't out to nobody. I'm just talking about what I'm talking about. This is the revelation I got for you on this Sunday morning. As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. Share this with somebody. Hit the likes. Tell me what your comments are. I love you. Be blessed.